In this video, we're going to give you all the information you're going to need to know when it comes to Combat Evolved Anniversary Flights. That's the rough dates when they're going to be coming out, the content that's going to be in those flights, as well as some changes coming to Halo Reach for the mechanics. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Yeah, how's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary. Today we're talking about some Halo news when it comes to the combat involved flighting process for all you guys. So if you guys enjoy these guys news information on videos, please make sure to tap that like button. So it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts about those flights coming for CE because uh, we have a little bit of extra goodness coming for this flight as well. So I'd like to see what all you guys have to say. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel, we'll stay updated with everything going on in Halo make sure you tap subscribe guys so let's get right into the video here so the beginning of this uh post here we had a new dev mcc dev update from postums yeah uh, going in depth about the uh, whole process between uh, the ce flighting and uh potential issues moving forward and so let's get right into it so uh, the first thing is that they mentioned that the pc uh, flights for CE uh, are looking to start to go into ring one and two by the end of, of January uh, with the goal of expanding to ring three in the beginning of February so my birthday's on the February 8th so that, yeah maybe an early birthday gift to me I don't know we'll see <laughs> uh, so and then they also mentioned that uh, the content plan for this fight will also include uh, Halo Combat Evolved and some Halo Reach on PC as well if you guys remember Combat Evolved Anniversary did come with a map pack uh, for Halo Reach, at the t which was the current Halo game at the time, and they kind of infused some CE multiplayer mechanics into Halo Reach and actually played out rather well, which looks like they are going to be bringing that playlist over to the MCC here pretty soon, with like which I mentioned in the previous uh, playlist update that they're talking about bringing in some more uh, temporary modes, bringing to kind of give people a reason to hop back in. One of those being Combat Evolved Anniversary Plays coming to Halo Reach, which means it basically, yeah, like a three shot pistol played in all the CE maps uh, that were recreated for Reach, which if you guys haven't had a chance to play those maps on those settings, that's where they those actually shine really well. Uh, maps like High Noon and uh, Solitary uh, Penance as well don't exactly play out super well on uh, Halo Reach with like a DMR start, but they play out super well with like that three shot Magnum from uh, Halo Reach if they put it in properly so they're looking to add that multiplayer into this as well on top of your regular ce multiplayer um, but they do mention that there might be a little bit of the potential delay behind this uh time frame because currently right now in halo wars 2 there is a crashing issue where people playing on pc and which really blocks them from being able to play the game so obviously you need to make sure that game is working properly before you can try work on other things and so uh, they look like they might have to take some resources away from the development of CEA on PC off to over the Halo Wars 2 to kind of get the issue fixed but they are saying that hopefully by the uh, end beginning of February we should be seeing uh, Ring 3 coming our way for our Halo Insiders which if you guys don't know, yes, sign up for HaloInsider.com. Uh, go on there, sign up, provide your information. If you guys have updated your PCs at all, this last uh, coming uh, Black Friday deals and stuff like that, which I certainly did. I had a nice little PC upgrade, which really made everything a lot better. So I had to make sure you update your DX uh, DIAG file. Uh, if you follow the processes on the website, it tells you exactly how to do it. It's really easy to do. Um, again, link provided in the description down below to the Halo Insider for you guys to sign up for that. And also, let's get into what the goals are for the flight. So the one is to uh, validate their intelligent install system on PC, because obviously all you had, had is Halo Reach, so all you had to do was just install that. Now they're also going to try to figure out a way to have, so you can validate, making sure that you can pick and choose what you want to install on your system because obviously mcc is a pretty large game i think it's around almost under 100 uh, gigabyte size game which you know you obviously have, so, have so much content obviously it, with a lot of people it might not have that much pc size or hardware hard drive size and so obviously being able to divide it up as much as you can be super beneficial for a lot of people so look to validate that and also just get uh general improvements on halo reach side of things 
Uh, for one thing, they actually do mention here that they are looking to change the crouching behavior in Halo Reach. Uh, if you guys do not know right now, you can only crouch if you're standing still or moving very slowly. You can actually crouch, which leads to a lot of people, uh, and like especially using controller users, being able to add like a crouch strafe along with their movements. Now, that's pretty well, as actually works out really well. So I think it's a nice balance between uh, being able to do it with Halo Reach, but then not overuse like utilize it like you could, and. You'd say Halo 5 where people were like basically just like bopping their heads up and down like I'm trying to play whack-a-mole while I'm trying to, you know, strafe out this guy. Like it just, it gets quite annoying when you see people do that. Now it looks like they're looking to be able to do, ab implement that so then people on PC can also implement crouch strafes because uh, obviously we use the mouse and key, with the, with the keyboard you only have one movement speed, you, not like a gradual uh, control like you do with the mouse, uh, like you do with a gamepad, and so they're looking to try to even it out. And so we'll see how that plays out. I'm not really looking forward to it because I think Creech's crouch speed is actually perfect. I think it's a great risk reward when it comes to implementing like crouches in your strafe when it comes to Halo Reach. Um, but again, we'll just have to see how it plays out. Now for the content going to be in the Combat Evolved Flighting Program here. So we have the single player, which is going to be cooperative and solo, bit, be able to play solo played. As as well you have multiplayer which is like I said gonna have your regular CE multiplayer I think as well as the Halo Reach CEA uh, playlist as well so you can like, fine-tune that a little bit for everybody uh, customization as well as progression now this is gonna be a really interesting thing to see how they add customization in the CE as we know that uh, basically your only customization options you had were your color now I did see a pretty funny meme on Twitter where someone showed like I can't wait for the next CE progression system and it just shows like tier one red tier two blue etc and I thought that was just pretty funny uh, so we'll see what they do maybe like add more nameplates or maybe if they found a way to make your character more customizable in CE which would be fantastic uh, we'll, again, we'll just have to see how that turns out because obviously with uh, Halo Reach's progression system that was pretty easy to put together as uh, you know, you, they can just basically just chop up all the different armor pieces and make that your different armor locks but we'll see what the odd locks are going to be for CE I'm really curious about that I will certainly make a video about it because uh, I'm sure you guys are probably curious about it as well and so make sure you tap subscribe to guys keep yourselves updated when all, when all that stuff goes on so that's about all the JSIC information that we have when it comes to the CEA flights uh, uh, we have a basic time frame of uh, Ring 3 for the Halo Insiders happening in early February. So that's looking forward to good. Looking forward to that. Looks like we have a lot of content added into this one. So maybe just maybe just one flight to kind of just make sure things are all working properly. And then they'll release it. As I believe a lot of heavy lifting was done during the reach flighting when it comes to bringing these Halo games to PC. Uh, but they do mention that they are aware of the current issues that are plaguing Halo Reach as well as the various other games gonna be coming to PC. Uh, so it may, I know many people in the comment section on my videos here mentioned like the audio issues, server latency uh 60 fps v-sync issues uh push talk stuff like that like they're all looking into those uh issues to improve those as well it's not a simple copy and paste like uh like postums mentions in this like it's all having to be re-encoded and try to bring it to recreate it the best way possible and uh it's not super easy but hopefully these issues would be resolved in a good time so yeah that's about everything coming for us right now on for cea flights guys i'm excited to play this because cea is a classic timeless game that i cannot wait to see this game be brought to full fidelity and and all the awesomeness that and bells and whistles that comes with playing on pc guys uh i'm excited for this <laughs> for sure and it looks like we're gonna have a release date of for the first fight happening in early february so maybe a little a nice lower birthday gift for me right there would be fantastic uh the customization should be kind of interesting to see how they're able to pull that off maybe some new kind of uh armor skins or something like that besides just coloring which would be, be pretty awesome uh let me let me know in the comment section down below guys what you would like to see when it comes to customization in ce maybe some new weapon skins or something like that as well that would be pretty awesome and also guys we get a chance to play some cea multiplayer which is going to be pretty freaking awesome guys if you haven't had a chance to play it trust me it's a great version of halo reach that you definitely would want to check out and play guys for sure and if you so guys if you want to stay up to date with everything going in in halo make sure you tap subscribe guys if you're new to the channel or missed any content from me check out the videos on the screen right now and i'll catch you all in the next video peace out